Hi there, welcome to Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Katie. And I'm Ryan, and today we're looking at Viking Yarl from designer Richard Mickelson. Viking Jarl is a 2-4 player game with a Viking Conquest theme and about 60 minutes of playtime. It has a battle mechanic similar to Risk, but it's not about just amassing the biggest army. You're going to need um, seafaring skills, a little bit of resource management, and also some take that courtesy of the Norse gods. Players take on the roles of Viking siblings seeking to impress their father enough to leave them the title of Jarl. There is no family business like pillaging and exploring the open seas. At the beginning of the game during the setup, some random location tokens are placed out on the map, so that kind of changes things up from session to session. These tokens, once revealed, will show you how many foes you have to fight or what goods you can buy there. Players take turns moving their ships and armies across the European map, conquering, trading, recruiting, and building settlements. Players get points by defeating an enemy in combat, building settlements, and being the first to explore the far reaches of the map. Battles are waged by rolling attack dice against the defensive dice and whittling down an army. If you're able to defeat the defenders, you get the rewards of that location. Some locations, like Paris or London, give you both victory points and coins. Settlements are a great way to get some hefty victory points, but you will need to trade for wood, iron, and mead to build them. At the start of each turn, you get to draw a saga card. These cards represent different Norse gods, and they can be used to really change up the game. Some give extra strength in battle. Some cause sea monsters to rise up and attack a ship. Others are for defense. There are many different ones, each with their own abilities. So, the first player to gather 11 points and make it back to the starting space um, is the winner. But, don't think it's that easy. The other players can try to get to your space and attack you to steal a point. So as you can imagine, the last voyage back home paints a large target on your back. Viking Jarl can be a pretty competitive game with all the battles and the Norse gods' interference. One of the things I really liked about this game was there were several different ways you could get victory points. That really appeals to me. And you could either go the attacking route or you could try to do settlements. I would like to see more avenues to getting... Uh, silver other than just pillaging and on some of the cards. I might have been missing something, but I, I think that's the only way you could do it. And Vikings were more than just pillagers, so I would like to see a little more of that in the game. The game we played was a prototype, so we played with prototype components, and there was uh, little cubes for all of the different resources. I would love to see a final copy of this game with more realistic components for the iron and the mead and the lumber. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, I totally agree with that. I think that would be a great add-in for the final product. Um, something that was interesting that we got to do was we got to try this game with the two-player version and a four-player version. Um, so we got to see the differences there, and there were a lot of differences. Two-player version, we were basically running around trying to collect resources, build our settlements as fast as we could. Um, but in the four-player game, we were bumping into each other a lot more. It was sparking a lot more of the take that. We were using our Norse cards um, a lot more, and um, it really was a little more battle-oriented in that one. And so if you are interested in map ex exploration <laughs> um, and tactical maneuvering and uh, resource management. Take that. Maybe you should check out Viking Yarl coming to Kickstarter soon. <laughs> 